sa 64 ang bilang na matinamaan ng new coronavirus disease 2019. Pinaalam natin lahat itong mga kasong ito sa ngayon para makita natin if there are linkages. Uh, land, domestic air, and domestic sea travel to and from Metro Manila shall be suspended beginning March 15, 2020 and to end on April 14, 2020. The COVID-19 pandemic deters higher educational institution to conduct actual or physical commencement exercises. Moreover, CHED encourages the conduct of virtual commencement exercises. The conduct of virtual graduation or virtual commencement exercises is an avenue in celebrating the achievement of the faculty and management for a fruitful graduates this year and so doing producing a group of professionals in the service to Caraga region and beyond. On the other hand, the conduct of this activity is a continuing the tradition of the academic achievements of the students. In this view, providing them the honor, the accolades of achievement. Further, the conduct of commencement exercises is not only a time-honored tradition, but also an instrument or way in improving academe, community, and industry relations for the industries which assisted the students during the OGT are part of the achievement of these students. The community, specifically for these graduates who will go back to their immediate community to serve, employing the skills they learn from this university. In this COVID-19 panorama, virtual graduation is the most appropriate avenue for the occasion. On the other hand, it is a vehicle or terrain in informing the public through social media platforms for the said virtual graduation. Virtual graduation had been used by most of the colleges and universities abroad due to the COVID-19 pandemic. It has the following advantages vis-a-vis. -vis. It has a lesser cost. It is accessible to the use of social media platforms. And it is the interface of social media, creativity, and mass-based due, due to the fact that it is readily accessible through the net. In the present academic panorama, which entails that face-to-face -face graduation would not be employed, it is in this view that this graduation is to be instituted. This further aims to have virtual commencement exercises, which aim again to present the academic achievement of the students in honoring them through virtual commencement exercises. This COVID-19 new normal demands for higher educational institutions such as this university to be innovative and flexible in the conduct of commencement exercises. It is vital for Surigao del Sur State University to continually celebrate its academic achievement despite of COVID-19 new normal situation. In so doing, continually cement the good relationship of the community, industry, and stakeholders through witnessing the virtual graduation or commencement exercises. This endeavors to make the virtual graduation meaningful and relevant using the appropriate platforms and technology suitable to the challenges of the times. Most vital, this activity will give an avenue in expressing accolades to the faculty for the job they have undertaken in producing these graduates. To sum up, this activity aims to have a conduct of virtual graduation with the in view of sharing to the wider public the academic achievement in producing COVID-19 graduates. This serves as a terrain of giving accolades to the graduates. Lastly, an avenue of celebration to the academic achievement of this university. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Today, the world is facing a great challenge, a challenge to survive. The year 2020 was welcomed with the devastating and lingering COVID-19 pandemic. Plans and programs of different organizations were stopped or even reversed as the surging blow of the pandemic is indeed unprecedented. 
Surigao del Sur is State University as an academic institution and as a government organization is mandated to produce and provide quality education to its students and it offers excellent, if not very satisfactory services to its internal and external clients. While the academic department has designed different academic approaches to attune to the present situation, the administrative and finance department has also resorted to different strategies and implemented applicable laws and other mitigating measures to help the Philippine government address this pandemic. SDSSU has adopted and implemented the Memorandum Circular No. 10, Series of 2020, issued by the Civil Service Commission by designing an alternative work arrangement, including work from home scheme to ensure safety of its employees and at the same time catering to the needs of its transacting clients. In order to ensure smooth and orderly procurement transactions, it is strictly adheres to the provisions of GPPB Resolution No. 9, Series of 2020, in addition to the 2016 revised IRR of RE9184, and to continually support the implementation of its programs, projects, and activities during this pandemic, there were revisions made in its plans and programs, including budgetary considerations, which were approved by the policy-making body of the university, the Board of Regents. Meetings and conferences were held through Zoom or other online modalities so as not to hamper its operation. As a way forward, the university has crafted a business continuity plan, which is a proactive response to the global pandemic. The focus of this plan is to develop a level of preparedness in order to reduce the impact of COVID-19 pandemic on the university operation. Generally, the plan aims to provide a clear roadmap in responding to the effect of the continuing threat of the pandemic and ensures the maintenance of critical operations of the university as this instant pandemic prevails. Through this plan, the university is expected to minimize losses during times of business interruptions while continuing to serve its clientele, thus allowing the university to operate in a business-as-usual manner. by COVID-19 pandemic, at the same time ensuring safety and health protocols are followed. SDSSU continues her effectual triumphs. These university commencement exercises of academic year 2019 to 2020 with a theme SDSSU sailing through at the cutting edge of education 4.0. Ladies and gentlemen, the academic procession. Republic of the Philippines, Surigao del Sur State University Board of Regents. Resolution number 24, series of 2020. A resolution approving the 1,068 candidates for graduation in various curricular programs in both the graduate and undergraduate curricula. 
whereas the seven campuses of the university marked a total of 1,068 candidates for graduation in various curricular programs, both graduate and undergraduate degrees. Whereas the 1,068 candidates for graduation, both graduate and undergraduate programs were endorsed by the Academic Council of the University. Whereas the Finance Committee also endorsed the same to the Board for appropriate action. Now therefore, after discussion and deliberation, Upon motion passed and seconded, the Board of Regents resolved, as it is hereby resolved, to approve the 1,068 candidates for graduation in various curricular programs in both graduate and undergraduate curricula. Adopted during the second quarter regular Board of Regents meeting via Zoom on June 18, 2020. Unanimously approved, signed, the chairperson, at the same time the Commissioner of the Commission on Higher Education, Honorable Perfecto A. Alibin. The Vice Chairperson, at the same time the President, Dr. Basilides R. Istal, with the members attending, the representative of the Congress or of the Chairman of the House Committee on Higher Technical Education, Honorable Prospero A. P. Chai, Jr., the representative of Chairman and Senate Committee on Education, Arts and Culture, Honorable Luke A. Sartorio, the Regional Director of the National Economic Development Authority, Honorable Bonifacio Oy, the Regional Director of the Department of Science and Technology, Honorable Dominga D. Malyonga, the Private Sector Representative, Honorable Alan A. Pelinio. Honorable Amado M. Lino Jr. The President, Federation of Faculty Club Associations, Honorable Rosalind C. Dial. The President, Federation of Student Supreme Government, Honorable Jeffrey D. Roy. The President, Federation of Alumni Associations, Honorable Ponciano G. Alamo. Certified true and correct by yours truly, Catherine F. Salomon, the Board Secretary 5.
University Kabai Campus Academic Council that the candidates for graduation have passed and satisfactorily completed the prescribed programs mandated by Commission on Higher Education and our institution. As the campus director, I have the honor to present to you the following candidates for graduation with the following programs. Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management, we have three. For Bachelor of Science in Industrial Technology, Major in Automotive, four. Electrical Technology, three. And for Computer Technology, male, 23, and female, 10, and with a total of 43. Honorable President, they are ready for your confirmation. Confirmation of the graduates. Dr. Basilides R. Istal, SUC President 3. Pursuant to Board Resolution Number 24, Series of 2020, and by the power vested on me as the University President by the Surigao Resource State University Board of Regents and 
having been presented by the respective deans, campus directors, and endorsed by the academic council that you have completed the requirements for graduation in your respected programs and degrees. I hereby confirm you for academic year 2020 graduates as such you are entitled to all rights and privileges appertaining thereto. Congratulations to all of you. Congratulations to Suri Godel Sur State University's class of 2020, who, amidst the global pandemic, has found the resilience to hurdle this trying time in order to see better days ahead. You are all indeed an epitome that whatever challenge the world will face, the promise of a great tomorrow is always within our reach. Our most esteemed and highly goal-oriented University President, Dr. Basilides Aristal, the ever-dynamic and committed key officials of the University, the ever-dependable and dedicated faculty and staff, I am most humbled to introduce to all of you and to the class of 2020 an exceptional person who has the genuine passion to serve her constituents with ardent zeal and deeply rooted sincerity. Her expression of love is seen through the unparalleled service that she has generously afforded to the people of Cantilan as their highly respected chief executive. Before she ventured to politics, she first traversed broadcasting as her career path, finding her way through the Tycoon companies in the field of media communication as news researcher at Jimmy Network Center from 2004 to 2005 and EBCB News Anchor from 2005 to 2007, being a graduate of Bachelor of Science and Communications at the Somson College in Manila. This woman speaks brightly about love and it is in this love that has brought her here. Married to the distinguished and formidable congressman of the 1st District of Surigao del Sur, the Honorable Prospero Butspichai, and the Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives of the Republic of the Philippines. Officials, guests, graduates, help me welcome a woman whose resilience, grace, and beauty are truly worth the honor of this encounter. Ladies and gentlemen, our commencement speaker on the occasion of this 36th commencement exercises, the local chief executive of Cantilan, Surigao del Sur, Honorable Mayor Maria Carla Lopez Pichai. Hello everyone. My warmest congratulations to the 2020 graduates of the Surigao del Sur State University. Today is historic. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we have dispensed with the traditional graduation rites. You are the first batch of graduates to hold your commencement exercises virtually. I thought about this long and hard, and I reckon that the only way to give you the best advice is to share with you my reality in its purest and most honest form. I suffer from anxiety. Compulsion, obsession, and perfectionism are my self-imposed curse that I struggle with every day. Despite my best efforts, countless self-help books, 
meditation, and a myriad of stress relieving strategies, I remain to be a work in progress. I am what they call a person with high functioning anxiety. On the surface, I am successful, together and calm. I am the typical type A personality who excels in work and life. However, I feel different inside. I overthink, I doubt myself and other people. I debilitatingly fear failure. Most especially, I am destroyed by the thought of disappointing others. To be ambitious and have bouts of anxiety is the worst combination of all. Imagine this, you want to accomplish a lot of things and yet you wake up not having the energy to even get up. Consider this for a second. You are in the middle of a very important discussion and you experience a surge of extreme sadness or loss of interest. I have pains, physical pains, that come from nowhere except for emotional triggers that I seem to be unable to control. This doesn't even include the other discomforts I feel whenever I suffer from a panic attack. This is my reality, a control freak who has no control of her anxiety. So how do I deal with my worries? How is it possible for a person with anxiety to be achieving everything that I have accomplished in my life? Here is my secret. When I am anxious, I always turn to music. That is how I cope with sadness or loss of energy. I listen to music and I get lost in the melodies. I slow down my breathing and I inhale and exhale through the dance between the lyrics and the melody. I calm my mind by getting lost in the different ideas presented in the feelings that flow through my veins as I listen to the harmonies. I shrink my worries by listening to what it is making me feel in that moment. And then I return to my purpose. Today, I want to share to all of you my message that was inspired by three songs that encapsulates what I call the bewilderment of a fresh graduate. I selected these phrases from these songs to further expound what I feel you should know as you celebrate your personal history becoming a graduate. The first song is Golden by Brandon Beal and Lucas Graham. Here it goes. We can be golden. Why don't we show them all of the life there's meant to be? We can be golden. Look what we hold in. Better than angels if you believe. Welcome to your life. It is the only one you have. Welcome it. Honor it. I once asked someone, why do this generation party like there is no tomorrow? And this was his response. I party because this is it. I want to live my life. I want to enjoy my life. This is the reason why I live my life to the fullest. I spend all that I have, my money, my energy, and my well-being with no care for tomorrow. Because as he said, you only live once. But there is tomorrow. In fact, the average life expectancy in the Philippines is 71.16 years. That means if you are a 21-year-old graduate, you still have, on average, at least 50 years to live. That is half a century. So, you don't live once. Statistically, you get to live for a very long time. And if you say that living life fullest in time of YOLO means to party hard and buy or do whatever you want, even if you cannot afford it, then you are starting your adult life in the wrong path. Remember this, your definition of enjoyment in your 20s is going to be totally different when you turn 40 or 70. Now, what happens if you've dedicated everything that you have for the pleasure of the 20-year-old you and left nothing for the 40-year-old you. Recognize this. You don't only live once. You live every day. And every day that you get to be alive is a privilege. 
The whole YOLO movement is a scam to trick you into believing that by exhausting all that you have and experiencing everything at the same time, you are guaranteed happiness. That high is your low. It diminishes the value of a moment. Know this, your happiness is rooted to your contentment. And contentment can only be achieved if deep within you, you know that you have done your best. My question, my dear graduates, are you doing your best? Live every day, every single day. Living is not only in the adventure, but it is also in the peace. Live through the moments that turn into memories. Invest in your future. Life is beyond today or tomorrow or even this week. Life is a possibility of many years of turning dreams into realities. It is not a one-off. It is comprised of many experiences. Show up for your life in the same fervor when you show up to a party. Capture your dreams in the same excitement as you capture that photo you are dying to post in your wall. Live every day. The next song is A Million Dreams by Hugh Jackman, Michelle Williams, and Ziv Seidman from the movie The Greatest Showman. Here it goes. I close my eyes and I can see the world that's waiting up for me, that I can call my own through the door, through the door, through where no one's been before. But it feels like hope. We can live in a world that we design. In our lifetime, we'll have many versions of ourselves. In the age of social media, where everyone wants to project what they believe people want to see or expect of them, we lose ourselves. We lose ourselves in the expectations of others. Here's a tip. Create your life according to your design. Who we are shouldn't be dependent on what we want others to believe. We need to stop and ask ourselves who we truly are when no one is looking. Only in that moment of honesty do we shed light in our darkness. Then, and only then, can we move forward and become our true selves. And for the last song, I want to share with all of you the classic, I Love You Always Forever by Donna Lewis. And it goes something like this. Feels like I'm standing in a timeless dream of light mists of pale amber rose. Feels like I'm lost in a deep cloud of heavenly scent. Touching, discovering you. I love you always forever, near or far, closer together. Everywhere, I will be with you. Everything I will do for you. I love you always forever. My dear graduates, always remember, love yourself, the beautiful and the ugly in you, your possibilities and your limitations, your successes and your failures. Love who you were, who you are now, and who you will become. Forgive yourself, especially for all your past mistakes. Remember, you cannot fault yourself for things that you did not know. Today, this time, when you know better, continue on not by carrying the shame of your mistakes, but by forging on. Build up your life with a better understanding and newly discovered abilities that only your failures could have taught you. And whenever you feel any doubt, look up. See the possibility in your stars. Remind yourself that your dreams are valid and so as your frustrations. Love yourself always forever. So why did I share my most personal struggle with all of you? I'm sharing this because I want you to realize after the speech that even I, who has a seemingly perfect life, is imperfect that your life is worth your passion, and most importantly, your contribution. It is worthy of your best, even when you struggle with it. I want you to know that even a flawed person just like me can be who she works hard to be. Let me stress this. You can be who you work hard to be because we only deserve 
what we put effort into. Writer Megan Drillinger wrote this very powerful phrase about perception. She said, how we see the world shapes who we choose to be, and sharing compelling experiences can frame the way we treat each other for the better. I hope that sharing my experience will inspire you to put effort into the kind of life you want. I hope it moves us to live for the better. Love always forever. Congratulations. In these trying times, SESSU is uncurtailed, yet watchful, share in emancipating from the pandemic, yet we care. SESSU wants and stakeholders. Keep safe, stay healthy. Congratulations to the graduates. The graduating class of 2020. Bachelor of Science in Industrial Technology, major in Automotive Technology. Lamigo Daniboy O. Salvami Zuti Dens G. Silatuna Arjun M. Trujillo Jonathan A. Bachelor of Science in Industrial Technology, Major in Electrical Technology. Famonel Jobert F. Parahis Jumar B. Payak Edmond A. Bachelor of Science in Industrial Technology, Major in Computer Technology. Castalia Ronel R. Wallo John Anthony S. Luxon Carmelo Jr. G. Lazada Jimbo P. Lazada Joel H. Masari Welly G. Montero Jeric M. Moreno John Paul A. Portilio Nelchris V. Toscano Ralph Gilbert Y. Alvarado Carla May P. Arnego Daphne Grace E. Bahatan Blasi S. Bahatan Michelle S. Bushu Dexy R. Kabadunga Geraldine L. 
Capesos Giselle P. Dallas Maria Lovely May T. Giritan Allen A. Lazada Mary Joy M. Maratas Margaret Irene B. Montenegro Argelin D. Monton Norjum S. Ortiz Mernalin R. Pagulong Rochilin L. Platel Judy Ann L. Pontilio Rosana U. Kiban Kaizen D. Talikig Jenna Q. Togbo Jessa M. Vanzuela Franchel V. Vasquez Maryjoy S. Vertodaso Teresa B. Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management. Labau Warren U. Parba Don Mark L. Abad Sweetheart Janine P. 